Hey guys, it's Sam for Rhizome Lab, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the similar tools and the similar tool settings. So let's pop on over to the program and take a look. Here we are in Rhizome UV. So, what are the similar tools? The similar tools are a way to transfer selections, unwraps, and optimizations from objects or UV islands to others that share similar topology or geometry. This massively speeds up workflow as it means that you aren't doing the same thing over and over again for identical objects. These tools can also be used to stack and group similar islands too. So let's go over the tools. As you can see here, I've got a really simple scene and that's because I want to keep things simple so we know exactly what's happening. Uh, the similar tools panel is here at the top and you can currently see it's grayed out at the moment. And if we press this button here, we can see the similar tools attributes. So let's start with select similar, which is this button here. Select similar evaluates your current selection and makes the same selection on similar islands or objects depending on your settings in the attributes panel over here. I'm going to keep things simple and leave the settings in the attributes at default for now, as we'll be getting onto those in a few minutes. So I'm gonna make an edge selection on this sphere here and I'm gonna hit select similar. And as you can see, the same selection is being made on the same island on the other object. Select similar also works across all modes. So if we go to point mode, make a selection and hit select similar, you'll see that the same selection has been made on the other object. Uh, the same is true for polygons too. And of course, islands. You'll notice that these other buttons up here in the similar panel are greyed out in point, edge, and polygon modes, and only active in island mode. We'll be getting back to these buttons, but first let's go through the similar attributes. Okay, so first off in the attributes, we have similarity kind. It's currently set to across elements. Now, I should explain what an element actually is. In the context of the similar tools, an element can be separate objects, like in this case, or separate pieces of geometry that are part of the same object. So if I select this island on this sphere and hit select similar, you can see that the same island has been selected on a similar element. So let's clear that and change this to across islands. And we're gonna select the same island again and select similar. Now, Rhizom UV has evaluated all islands for similarity, and because they are all the same, all of them have been selected. Again, it's important to note that this setting has an effect across the different modes. So if I go to polygon mode and clear that selection, put this back to across elements, we'll select these and hit select similar, and the same polygons have been selected on the same island across elements. If I make a selection again and change this drop down to across islands, that same selection has been made on identical islands. Okay, moving on to symmetry mode. You can see that I've loaded up a new scene here. I've got two left hands and two right hands. There's no seams and they haven't been unwrapped, but that actually doesn't matter in this case. So, First of all, we've got this set to straight. So what I'm gonna do is go back to island mode, select this hand here, and hit select similar. With this setting set to straight, Rhizom UV will look for and select identical geometry or islands. So let's clear this selection and move this to symmetric. And we'll select the same hand again and select similar. With symmetric enabled, Rhizom UV will look for and select symmetric or mirrored geometry or islands. Let's clear this again, and we'll change this drop down to both. Select the same hand, select similar. With the both setting enabled, Rhizom UV will select identical and mirrored geometry or islands. So everything here has been selected. Okay, so we're back with our sphere scene again, and before I move on to inclusion, I actually want to go back to the similar panel, and we're going to be taking a look at this button, the Stack Similar button. This is because I'll be utilizing Stack Similar when explaining the inclusion setting. 
So, I'm in island mode. I'm going to select an island. Uh, let's select this one. And I'm going to hit stack similar. As is evident, all similar islands have been brought to the island I had selected and stacked on top of it. So all islands are now stacked. This isn't the only thing that the stack similar button does. So let's undo this. And I'm going to go to our spread tool up here. And I'm going to reduce the radius of this slightly. And I'm going to alter this island so it's deformed. And now when I select this and hit stack similar, you can see that all other islands are not only stacked on top of it, but have taken on the change deformation of that island. And if I was to now press pack, you can see that they've all taken that on. Okay, so let's move on to the inclusion setting. It's currently set to all. So I'm going to select several islands. And I'm going to hit stack similar. As you can see, even though I selected a selection of islands, all of the islands were included in this process of stacking them. So let's undo this. And this time I'm going to change this to selection. So still with this selection of islands selected, let's hit stack similar. This time you'll notice that only the selection was included in this process and everything else was left alone. So let's undo this again. There is something you should know about when inclusion is set to selection. If you only have one island selected instead of a selection of islands with this setting set to selection, then this setting falls back to the same behavior as the all setting in this list. So with one island selected, I'm going to stack similar and everything is uh, stacked. Okay, so now I want to move on to the similarity slider here. But before I do, I need to go over the differences between topology and geometry because it's important to understand what this slider is actually doing. So if we look at our scene now, we can see that one of our spheres is slightly deformed. It's got an indentation in it. And this is going to help me explain the difference between topology and geometry. So topology is a description of the arrangement and connectivity of polygons, edges, and points. Geometry is a description of the coordinates in 3D space of polygons, edges, and points. So if I was to compare this island with this island, it is true that they are topologically identical, but they are not identical in terms of geometry. And this is what this slider is about. At the bottom end of the slider, only topological similarity is being looked at, whereas if the slider is turned all the way up, not only topology is being looked at, but also geometry too. So let's test this out. I'm going to uh, put my similarity slider all the way down to the bottom, and I'm also going to change this to across elements. So if I select this island here, this deformed island, and press select similar, the corresponding island on the other object is also selected because these are identical in terms of topology. Let's clear this selection and put the similarity all the way up. Select the same island again and select similar. This time nothing is selected because this corresponding island here is not similar in terms of geometry. Okay, so we're back with a new scene loaded up and we've got this box and this sphere. And we're going to be taking a look at this um, stack group button. So you remember earlier that uh, when we selected an island and we pressed this stack button, everything similar is stacked on top of each other. But in the event that we press the P button, so pack, everything gets separated out again. And you may not want this. So we have the option of a stacked group. So if I select this island and this island and press stack and group similar, you'll notice that everything similar to this island we had selected is now stacked on top of each other and the same for the box, but they are in a group. So now if I press the pack button, they remain stacked and are packed. That brings me on to the last item in our similar attributes, and that's the stack offset. 
So you may be in a situation where you have many items stacked on top of each other. A good example would be leaves on a model of a tree. And you may want to bake details from a high poly model onto a low poly model in your 3D program or something like Substance Painter. Now, in order to do this, you can't have all your islands stacked on top of each other. So this is what the stack offset button does. If I was to choose this stack, so select the stacked grouped label and then hit stack offset, you can see that all islands apart from one have been moved outside of the UV space. Now you can go and bake your details onto this UV and then move the rest of the islands back. It should be noted that if you have nothing selected and you press the stack offset button, all stacked groups will be affected. Okay, so you, here's a new scene. It's a little bit more of a practical example. We've got this ball and chain here. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the last thing in our similar panel, which is this update similar button. So the way I could go about this is uh, select our loop there by double clicking, same there. And then I could uh, select similar. So all of these um, seam selections are made on the chain. Cut, and then I could just unfold and uh, focus in. And as you can see, because nothing was flat, it's already packed too. So that's quite a quick way of doing things. So let's move back. So there is another way to do this. You may be in a situation where you've selected the seams on this object and already made your cuts and unfolded it and let's press the pack button for good measure you'll notice that this is the only unfolded thing here and everything else is in their uh, normal state but you might be in a situation where like i said you've already made your cuts and flattened this particular piece of the model but what you can do is actually select this and use the update similar now you may notice that nothing happened and that is because our similarity kind is set to across islands. So it's actually looking for islands that are similar to this, but there are no islands. So we need to use the 3D geometry. So if we change this to across elements and then press update similar, you'll notice that all of these other links have not only now got the same cut, but they've been laid out flat too. So all we need to do now is pack. You'll notice the elements of this ball have not been unwrapped properly, so let's middle, double middle mouse click on the ball, press U for unfold, now they're unfolded properly, and now we can press P again. And as before, if we wanted to, we could select these, make sure this is across islands, and uh, stack these together in a group stack and pack again so that's it guys that's everything in the similar tools panel and the similar tools attributes i hope that was helpful to you and i'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed our video please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for video updates you can check us out on social media discord and our website links in the description and if you're looking for more rising uv content you can choose one of these videos on screen that's it Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.